In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this scribble effect. Okay, before we get started, keep in mind, this is a very fast way to create a scribble effect, so if you want complete control, this might not be for you. Now, to begin, right-click in the Project Panel, and go to New Item, Adjustment Layer. The default setting is fine, so we can just hit OK. Alright, now drag the Adjustment Layer above the clip on your timeline. Using an Adjustment Layer allows us to adjust the duration of the scribble effect without using keyframes. Next, go over to the Effects panel and type Paint Bucket into the search box. Then drag the effect onto your adjustment layer on the timeline. OK, now go over to the Paint Bucket in Effect Controls and change the Stroke dropdown to Stroke. I'm also going to click the Color box to change the color to white. Alright, now I have this basic scribble effect, but I don't like how it's on the walls, so let's adjust the tolerance to get rid of that. While this seems to look good, if I scrub through this a bit, I can see that it's still selecting parts of the wall I don't want. So what we can do is increase the fill point's X value to refine the scribble into more of an outline. Okay, this looks good, but keep in mind that you can adjust the duration of your scribble effect by simply adjusting the duration of the adjustment layer. I only want my scribble effect to play while she twirls to get the cool lines in her hair. And now when I play this back, it has a desired effect. For a final touch, I think this would look better if we eased into the scribble effect by animating the stroke's width. First, you'll need to position the playhead to where you want the scribble effect to start coming in. Click the stopwatch next to Stroke Width to create a starting keyframe, and set the stroke width to zero. Then move the playhead to when you want the scribble effect to fully come in at and set the stroke width to your desired thickness. I'll put mine at 3, where it was before. Okay, now when I play this back, my scribble effect smoothly animates in. If we wanted to, we could also animate and ease out by moving the playhead to when we want to start animating out the scribble, and click the circle to create a keyframe for the stroke width's current value. Then move the playhead to when you want the scribble effect to be completely gone by, and set stroke width back to zero to create a final keyframe. All right, when I play this back, now my scribble effect animates in and out smoothly. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. So as always, thanks for watching and catch you next time.